just found that out right before we walked walked in this uh to the session so just want to say our, our condolences go out to his family um certainly he's a guy that is held in the highest regard in this building and i think just around the league he's had a tremendous impact um not only in people in this building obviously goody and, and a lot of our personnel people but people in other departments as well um his impact is still felt to this day with when you, when you look at our roster but i think he's had a tremendous impact amongst many people across the league when you look at all the other gms that have have learned under him so certainly we're, we're sitting here with heavy hearts today i've only had a few opportunities to to meet him over the last couple of years um but you know i just know how important he he was to many people in this building i feel so blessed that i had the opportunity to to work with him just one of the more uh remarkable people that i've ever uh had the Plug privilege to to work with and be around. Um, I think the one thing that really stands out to me was just his humility. Just uh, you know, it was never about Ted. It was always what's best for the organization. Ted Thompson, who served as general manager of the Green Bay Packers from 2005 through 2017, passed earlier this week at the age of 68. His work continues to show up in every aspect of the Green Bay Packers roster, starting with franchise quarterback Aaron Rodgers. And Peter, when you think back to what was going on in 2005 with Brett Favre, and he was about two or three years into the annual game of what am I going to do, the Packers seemingly exasperated already with it and having Aaron Rodgers fall into their lap were willing to put that name on the card and the rest is history and that was Ted Thompson and uh, you know that legacy will be on display this Sunday and possibly two weeks later in Tampa Bay. Mike uh, that's the story that's the uh, clear story I have a memory of Ted Thompson about it goes back to Brett Favre and just remember you know, in 2008, in the summer of 2008, remember in the spring, Favre retires, and then he starts having second thoughts. I want to come back. I want to come back. So right before the start of training camp, when he was at basically at cross purposes with the Packers, and he was going to report to training camp, I was at Favre's house in Mississippi uh, a, the day or two before he was going to leave to go back to Green Bay. And he was going to challenge the Packers. Hey, I'm going to report for training camp. And, and I, there's this one time in the kitchen, he, you know, where he's talking about, talking to me about what his plans are and that he's going to go in there. I said, hey, Brett, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not in the middle of this, believe me, but I'm just telling you, Ted Thompson is not backing down, period. He will not back down. And I had a phone conversation with Ted Thompson in a couple of weeks earlier where he essentially said to me, he said, if I allow Brett to dictate what he wants to do and to go to the Minnesota Vikings, you know, in essence, he just joked about how he would be hung in effigy in Green Bay. And he's absolutely right. You know, hey, we love Brett. He's the greatest. He's, 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 this, he's this guy. But at the end of the day, I am the steward of this franchise and the Minnesota Vikings are our rivals and we are not handing Brett Favre to the Minnesota Vikings, period. So, and, and Ted Thompson held his ground. Favre went to the Jets. Later, obviously, he goes to the Vikings. But Favre goes to the Jets and basically he won. You know, Ted Thompson won that. And the other thing I would say, Mike, is that I found it so poignant yesterday when I was looking at the AP All-Pro team of 2020. And there, the center is Corey Lindsley. The quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. The, uh, uh, the wide receiver is, one of the wide receivers is Devontae Adams. The left tackle is David Bakhtiari. What do they have in common? All drafted by Ted Thompson. Yeah, that's an excellent point. And that was his approach. It was draft and develop, draft and develop. Sometimes 
at at the risk of criticism from others who would say, what about free agents? They were always, always very careful about free agents, but built that team through the draft and the, the product is still there. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.